And our second question is from 9512. Good day. A piece of land was awarded to my mother uh, by NHA. She told me to build a house on it, and now I am living there with my husband. My question is, is this property a conjugal one? Thank you in advance for your advices. Alam mo, ang yung whether it is conjugal or absolute community of property will entirely depend upon when the marriage took place. No, but the, 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 the Ngayon, property mother. belongs to the mother. Kaya nga, that's mm -hmm. why as far as your question is concerned, it is a little bit complicated. Uh, uh -huh. Una, yung award na binigay ng, ng HA, NHA HA. sa mother mo, yan ba yung nasa pangalan pa ng mother mo? Now, kung nasa pangalan ng mother mo yan, eh hindi yan, uh, hindi, hindi iyo pa yan, hindi pa iyo yan, dahil buhay pa mother mo eh. Ngayon, if your mother acquired that piece of land while she was still single, parafernal property yan. Uh, if she got married prior to August 3, 1988. 1988. Uh, kung nag-asawa nag na siya, uh, na, at saka yan na-award sa kanya, now, so, kaninong pera ang ginamit? If, if the conjugal property money was used in acquiring it, that becomes conjugal property of your father and your mother. No, no. The, the, the question they're asking is, silang mag-asawa? No, silang oh, mag-asawa. Oh, 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 silang oh, mag-asawa ang involved dito. If the, pro, if, the, if the title is not yet in your name, oh, and well, then later the mother, on you, you know. acquired it, linagay mo sa pangalan mo, when did you get married? If you got hmm. married prior to August 3, 1988, no. that can become no, conjugal. Oh, question. Kasi kanina, but, na, oh, but, if you make you and your husband married after August 3, 1988, that becomes absolute, absolute. community yes, of yes. Whether or not you inherited it or not. Okay, yung pisan, e balik muna natin ang konti. Doon sa, doon sa portion na nasa pangalan ng mother niya, build the house on it. Hmm. Supposing the mother wants the land, what happens to the house? Well, uh, as uh, builder in good faith siya eh. Mm -hmm. Dahil ang mother sinabi, Built on it, no? All right. Oh, now, what so as a builder in good faith, you're entitled to uh, a reimbursement of ah, expense okay. or whatever capital you already expended for the building of the house. Okay. So, nandun na sa in lahat ng 